Yo, 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 what's up, guys? We are still in Bangkok, and today we are visiting the Loksai Kondeng Gym. The owner of the gym, Naparat, is a former professional boxer, have 11 children, 7 daughters, 4 boys, and they all are champions. And I want to see what's the secret behind how a guy can have so many kids and they're all champions. And also, we're going to visit Somsak Clay Pot Crab Place. It's one secret restaurant. It's a street food restaurant, but also we're going to Michelin. I'm so excited too, guys. It's going to be sick. That's what I'm talking about. Wait. Okay, now. Also, in this episode, Targa Bacon, the manager, is here. And he was the guy, this time, responsible for searching the gym. Why you choose this gym, man? This gym is based in the north of Bangkok, so we have a long drive. It's a Muslim gym, and everything there is halal. That's very important for me because I'm a Buddhist. The complete family is active on social media and have over millions of views. This is how they get my attention and not because they have seven sisters. We have a long drive, so I rent today a special motorbike. Boom! No, not this one. This one. I'm an hey, <laughs> Looks like today it's more than 20 minutes. Oh, a brother of Tolga. I can tell you guys the traffic here is ridiculous, but with the bike you go very fast through and everything is here systemated. It looks like chaos, but it's a system. We still have like five kilometers to go, but you see that we are already outside of Bangkok and here it's more quiet, no skyscrapers, a little bit empty, very different part of Bangkok. I can tell you guys with this scooter to drive such a long way, my ass hurts so much. I think if they see us on the street, they think we are gay. I don't know. The gym is so far away that you need to fuel the bike. Wow. But it's a nice drive. Like this, you see what's outside of the box and what's outside of uh, Bangkok city. For me, the only thing what I see is my ass is very hurt. I don't like this way. I must go to the doctor and make infection, jacks and section. It's a bit better than that. We're just gonna grab some drinks and also in this Thai market we have sometimes crazy flavors. Here for example we have a Coca-Cola with watermelon and strawberry flavor. Wow, it's a marshmallow artist edition. For me, I'm old school, only cola from glass. Now let's make the flavor test for the marshmallow white coke edition. Oh, it's really good and zero calories. I really like white coke. Me too. Here in this area of Bangkok, there is a very, very big uh, Muslim community. And also like Muslim markets are here. And now we also going to take a small look. We are so hungry. We cannot eat because we have training. But we're going to take a look for you guys. Guys, really, it smells so good. But we don't can eat. training but I, I cannot get over it we need to try this food it looks so delicious
people, they're so lovely, so nice, so respectful. They brought us to another restaurant because they have seat possibilities, and now we sit here. Wow. So delicious noodles, the seafood, the chicken with egg, wow, with some greens, and it's halal. What do you want more? Unexpected, so delicious. After this delicious food, a delicious tea, we need to continue the training. I'm so tired and it's so hot. Okay, we almost reach our goal. Here's a guy with a WBC shirt. Here are some cats on the bike sleeping. And I smell the sweat already. Hello everyone, my name is Mimi. Welcome to my gym. Looks like Indian gym. You know why this gym is the best? Because we are family and they are all champion. My dad is the champion. That's why you have to come here. Get down in the car, one time give it all. Bust it open hard, let me see your job. Get down in the car, one time give it all. Bust it open. Wow, already a few guys arrived, and look who is here Rotang. One of the greatest Muay Thai fighters of all history is just right now here. Wow. Uh -huh. Let me see the job. I fucked up this wrestle, baby. We hustle, but then what the night? Oh This looks like a real, real Muay Thai gym. And you see here the people are working hard. Wow. You see that here all people are equal. Doesn't matter if beginner or like one of the greatest fighters in the history of Muay Thai, Rotang. He's also cleaning the ring and make sure that everything is clean here. And it's so awesome to see all the sisters working together and uh, the big brother is watching them all. He takes care that everything works out. I can tell you if you see the machines, you see that the people are working really hard here. And I'm not surprised that you're coming so many champions out. One is taking care of the other, all siblings. It's just amazing. Next to the gym, there is just the lake. It's just beautiful to relax, to calm down, to breathe the fresh energy. Wow. Wow, guys, it's amazing here. And Mimi also, I follow her a long time and see every time only her pics and videos in life. She looks more beautiful than our pictures. It's crazy. It's amazing for me. Also, the Chinese version of Mike Tyson is here. Hu Chong Ming. What I also like here is that they did some machines by themselves, like weight machines. I love it. They put a lot of creativity inside. And looks like not just the family is here. Also, like I said, the Chinese Mike Tyson is here, a guy from France, and some other Chinese. So it seems to be like a secret weapon spot. You see, the people here are working very hard. Hey, nice to meet you. My name is Carlito. I'm from Congo, but I live in France and I'm training here um, since two months in Luxai Kondin Gym. Uh, I like uh, Thailand be because of the weather and the food. Okay, 
I like here because of the, it's a uh, raw, you know, it's a uh, rugged, not, um, it's hard, the, the, the spot is hard. You know, I don't like tourist style, you know, I like uh, authentic Muay Thai style. It's uh, because of this. And I can tell you one thing. The sisters, they look like they know what they're doing. Get down in the car. And here is the master of the masters, or the father and the creator of all this. Wow, such a nice man. He feels strong. Hello, my name is Tainel Dongin. I'm 16 years old. Uh, I'm 5, uh, 30, wait, no, 13, 13 years. <laughs> I'm so excited. Now let's get changed and then let's get ready to rumble. And a big shout out to four more for the sick clothes. So before the training starts, I would like to do my own warm up because mostly trainers they don't know what you have for problems if you have like something with ligaments or injuries. So I try to take care of myself before we training. Albania. Albania. You yeah, know Albania? Albania? I know, I know Albania. This, this year. Oh. Also one thing what I love about the gym, in no other gym I saw the Albanian flag. Here I see it already two times. Welcome to my gym, Komka. Hi, I'm my name is Tong. Today, Tenne, Salat. Before the training starts, a little bit to clean up. Okay, four. <laughs> Uh, my name is Nam. I'm from Thai. I'm here. Uh, I like this place because when you join the academy, they behave to you like you're their family. Yeah. The environment is good too. The air is clear. How many years you train here? Just, or make how many years you make? Uh, I'm two months. I'm two months here. Now the training starts, let's get it on. I can tell you this guy knows what he's doing. Ridiculous feeling. They asked me how many minutes I won the round. I said three. They said, oh, you should change your five minutes. Oh my God. What is wrong? Broken. Why? 
Ah là, ik vind het Hello, my name is Tangatit Luxa Kong Din. How old are you? Uh, I'm 19 years old. And, uh, how long are you fighting? Uh, I fight, uh, I start fight two years. Two year. My name is Jia Yu. Uh, I'm uh, 25. Mm, I'm training one year. One year. Welcome to Luk Saigongdi. So now we have one round more, and also looks like Rotang want to watch us. So we go to his ring. You just can't feel the difference. If a coach walk with tourists, all the fighters, the holding of the pets, the timing, superb. Leute, if you want to know how to knock everybody out, just follow the channel. Boom, boom. Also the Speedback, one of the best machines for cardio and like shoulders, I love it. It just would be nice if it works. Mimi, what is your favorite combination? Uh, I favorite with my elbow competition because I think I can stop my opponent. When I hit her, I can beat her by my elbow. Like, bump, bump. I like the most, like swing back elbow. And I have got uh, to many times with opponent, like pop. And then the cut. Also, one of my favorite complex packs. On this one, you can do like combinations. You can throw them slowly, get faster, and then explode. Like different kinds of speeds and power. In my case, I work on my left hook. I start slowly. Then I adjust, then I get faster, and then I explode. He's so sad that I'm gonna leave today. He wants to stay here. Looks like Mimi is here, the captain of the team. She is leading the training, she's holding the time, holding the pets, and uh, she has like a big responsibility for such a big family. I can tell you, the gloves are really sick. There is just one problem the fucking laces. I hate it. Also, at the end of every training, what I like to do is to use some different version of push-ups. Some tight ones, some, some wide ones, and some for the biceps. Just to change a bit the ankles and to put some blood through the muscles. Looks like the Compact family is doing planks. I think I'm just gonna join. of the guys is actually longer than my own training. Mimi, first of all, thank you very much that we could come here, train here. It's a lovely gym, yeah? What makes this gym for you so special? I think my gym is special because of everyone, they are a fighter. But everyone, they are my sibling, my sibling, my brother and sister, and my nephew, all is fighter. And uh, everyone here is a fighter and... and don't forget your father. Yes, <laughs> yes. And my father is a fighter, and then he wants to teach everyone to be a fighter yeah. and to professional. Your fighter, your father was a boxer, yeah? Yes. So he teaches you also boxing? Yes. And this is big adventure in Muay Thai. If you do boxing, you beat everybody, yeah? 
Sorry? If you have a good stand-up, good boxing in Muay Thai, you have advantage. Yes. So you learned this from your father, yeah? Yes, I learned from my father. Because he want to... I can protect myself yeah. and I can... Uh, like... Uh, sorry, like... No, no, no problem, no problem. Did I go no problem. Okay. He teach me for protect myself and like uh, here, around here is not good, uh, not good place, you know. Around here have like many dark store, like yeah. something like that. That's why uh, my father scared everyone to protect do, you. Uh, yeah, protect, protect, protect yeah. family. I see also you're very active on social media. You do TikTok and everything. Yes, yes. How you come to this idea? I think I want to show my skill to everyone. Uh, and I want to uh, everyone know my gym and know family too. And know everybody know, yeah? Yeah. Rotang is with your sister married, yeah? Yes, he's gonna marry soon, like next month. Oh, nice. And he trains also here, yeah? Yeah. So that means here are really good champions, yeah? Yes. Nice. Okay, Mimi, I wish you and your family just the best, success, and come, come. Guys, the training is over. Now we're gonna grab some food in this mysterious crab place which Tolga found. It was my mom. And let's check it out. I can tell you guys, this is my favorite gym of all gyms we visit. It's, it was amazing, amazing. I love it so much. I think I come back this year or next year and train every day there. Okay guys, we arrived and you see the place is quite busy, it's full. This man is since 5 years in the Michelin Guide and he makes like the best crab and noodle in complete Thailand. I'm so excited. And he's a cool guy. Welcome to Sometimes people are waiting here so long, they already sleep here. This guy, he is here since six years. I'm really excited about the food. If I see the people, they look so satisfied after their food. I want to be satisfied too. I'm very happy to eat here. This guy is famous for his crabs. And what did Tolga order? Yeah, shrimps. Because I don't like crab like this with eagle scheiße, you know? I don't like. Who is Mr. Krebs? <laughs> I don't know how to eat this guy, really. I, I don't know. White gold, I tell you guys, white gold. White gold? Is that something different, man? What the fuck, you man? Delicious. I 
really love this food and I enjoy it. It's just a lot to peel, you know, and I'm not really the best peeler. If you take my rest of the food, you can create a new food. The food is really awesome, it's really delicious. But one thing, the bad smell on the fingers, oh my god, I hate it. But it looks like they also have a solution for that. Lemonade. Guys, you know, I hate to wait for my food, but here the food was so delicious. The sauce, the crab, the hitze, alles. Oh my god, it was so crazy. You must come here and eat. And what I have to say for a street food restaurant, it's even cleaner than some restaurants who are normal. It's ridiculous, very delicious. The sauce is on point. This guy is so fucking nice. He did with us a chat and everything. Thank you very much. It was very good. Very, very, very good. Thank you. Again. Thank you. So guys, that's for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it and see you soon. Boop, 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 boop.